Okay, here again. Sorry about the way this thing starts off. Uh, I'm going to take you to um, this uh, LibGuide called uh, Shapiro Library LibGuide SNHU.edu slash criminal justice. So basically this is just fine tuned in just for us in our department. That's something else I wanted to show you. Up here on your left again there's more tabs in the library. Uh, there is a thing on plagiarism. I really strongly, strongly recommend that you look at this as you're getting involved uh, in this class. It's kind of off the point of what we're talking about right now, but I'll probably be working something in on that later on. Um, you got to be very careful on this plagiarism thing nowadays, so work real hard on that too. Uh, it talks about research process techniques. I'm kind of self-taught on that, but that might be able to give you some ideas on you know better ways to find things writing and presentations understanding information find library and internet sources cite your sources and that's where we go into this next where we start talking about APA you know APA is the only way for criminal justice uh, professionals APA everything is uh, APA formatted not MLA and there is a difference there's a lot of difference uh, MLA is primarily for people who work in uh, the humanities like history, philosophy, things like that. Uh, any of the social sciences are strictly APA. Uh, any nursing, any business, I mean just about any kind of career oriented uh, academic uh, uh, discipline uses the APA, not the MLA. Uh, it's shrunk down to where it's just a humanities only. Uh, and then there's a third uh, one that I know of, and that's called Tarabian, uh, or it's also called Chicago Book of Style or something like that. But anyway, uh, Tarabian is almost like dead. I mean, once in a blue moon, you run across it somewhere. Uh, and so what my advice to you is on this, then get to this libguides, snhu.edu slash criminal justice, and walk down through it. And then what I'm going to try to do is pull this back, pull my camera back, turn it around, and tune it in here so you can see what I'm looking at here. See this, uh, uh, these arrows, and uh, there's a video. So what I'm going to try to do is work this where I can just give you a little preview uh, of this video right here. So let's get it where we can make it the best we can and then we're going to hit it right here so you just hit it that's another YouTube on a YouTube and so you want to start on that big research paper but if you're looking for all the best info where do you turn should you take advantage of library resources or stick to searching the web and what difference does it make anyway search engines are handy fast and easy they're great for finding general information and getting up to the minute details on current topics but they also have their drawbacks. You're stuck skimming the surface while mountains of info remain buried or locked behind paywalls. And what about the info you do find? Doing research like this, you're on your own, surrounded by sources you can't always trust and facts you can't always verify. Sure, you can find great information, but you'll have to double-check every fact and investigate every source. In a situation like this, one can only turn to the library. The library gives you easy access to a huge range of academic resources. A giant selection of print, electronic, and digital sources that you won't find just searching online. All of which are verified, paid for, and ready to use free of charge. 